I'm Kes Nauraki. I'm a professional metal shaper. Professional because I'm doing this to pay bills and taxes. More than a month ago, I came out with the idea of shrinking panel, uh, die in the middle of the big panel. What it is, this is the fixture to fit in my machine. And then inside I installed impact screwdriver. I don't think it's even necessary to use impact screwdriver if you use pressure of the roller. But I like it, it's working for me. So I made also three different dies, different size of dies. This, uh, this one is a little bigger than my top roller, which is for flatter panels. It always has to be crowned, but flatter crown. And then sharper crown is this one, which will obviously, for sharper crown, will be plenty. And then another die is for twisting metal. And this one is, ver is, this one is small diameter, and also it's a uh, file blade welded to it. So I made some changes from last time. I had file blade, and now I, put, I made on the lathe circle lines, very fine. Because when I'm turning, I don't want the file to dig in too much in the panel. So, how it works? I put the, the die in, on top of the impact uh, and I did some shrinking on this panel, used another different spot. So, like I said, it has to be crown because this only shrinks bringing crown to the level, that's all it does. I put a little pressure, not too much because I have an impact screwdriver which does the, the rest. And then try to make almost 180 degree turn to make, the, to cover the full 360 surface. So I turn the panel and loosen up. Look in this um, mark. You can tell this almost full circle of, of this uh, from the roller. On the inside, there are lines, but not really deep. And the, those lines are to hold the metal from spreading. When you push it and this crown, help to bring, keep the metal in and shrink better. So I can show you. The areas where I was shrinking on both of them. This one, you see the gap? See the gap? This is another one. Oh, is a gap. That's how much it shrunk. You can keep moving and shrinking more. I already did some shrinking on on different, on my workpiece, which is fender, I replace rusted section of the fender, and there were high spots. So that's what I did. Using shrinking disc wouldn't be a good idea because the panel is sandblasted, it would be too messy using water. So I decided to use uh, my tool. Also, different way of like washing off this, washing out this, this uh, high spot wouldn't work because this got edge and it's simply impossible. So it has to be shrinking. And this uh, weld reminds me of hot shrinking, which uh, hot shrinking I don't recommend because if you weld two big panels, and there are high spots, and you use torch. It is going to anneal the spot, and then the gravity of the big panel under rollers will push it up. It's very difficult to make 
to roll after it's, uh, it's uh, shrunk by torch. So that's uh, one of the disadvantage of hot shrinking. Here is, of course, uh, welded. But if I try to roll crossway, I don't get good success because that's a regular metal, soft spot. Weld is a hard spot and soft and hard. But rolling long way with the weld, it's OK, because it doesn't change. So you can control it and get good results. Oh, this uh, big die I, I use on this area. If, if I want it to shrink on the sharper crown, I would use the smaller die which doesn't need so big surface to shrink and it gets so much, so big amount of shrink and it's less amount on bigger crown. So what left is this one to explain it is only the one die with the file blade. What I do with this? Twist, twisting metal is very difficult. I fix many frames and uh, unit bodies, few hundreds of them in collision shop. So I learn twist, twisting metal is very, very difficult. So if you have a flat panel, oil can, or loose metal, really floppy, then you can try this. This will shrink uh, in this situation by twist. I'm not going to twist a lot. This, if this twist half a degree or one degree, that's, that's plenty. That's, that's what you, all you need. And we'll stiffen it up the panel. That's, the twisting is so little, it's almost invisible. So that's all I have. Thank you.